Nearly nine years after 9-11, the United States is still facing a major terror threat. You may be surprised to learn who agents are catching trying to cross the border from Mexico. We reviewed congressional reports and traveled to the southwest to find a threat that affects us here in metro Atlanta. The Border Patrol uses choppers, ATVs, and horses to patrol the 2,000-mile southwest border. Most of the illegals caught crossing are from Mexico or South America, but thousands are classified as OTMs, other than Mexicans, including hundreds from nations that sponsor terror. These are the records we obtained at this federal detention center near Phoenix, Arizona. We found illegals from Afghanistan, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, Sudan, and Yemen in custody. We have left the back door to the United States open. Former Arizona Congressman J.D. Hayworth has seen the intelligence reports. And we have to understand that there are people who definitely mean to do us harm who have crossed that border. This Arizona rancher doesn't want to be identified because he fears the Mexican cartels who smoke drugs and people near his property. This Muslim prayer rug was found on his ranch. It's just one more indicator that there's a whole lot more than just a few poor Mexicans coming into the United States. There's more. This congressional report on border threats confirms members of Hezbollah have crossed the southwest border. It also contains photos of military jackets found on the border. The Arab insignia reads, Martyr, Way to Eternal Life. The other depicts a plane crashing into the Twin Towers. The American public has been kept in the dark about this whole issue. Dave Stoddard was a Border Patrol agent for 20 years. He worries about the dangerous people who get through and may be living among us. In my experience, uh, for every one apprehended, there was at least 10 that would escape apprehension. The congressional report also reveals the route Middle Easterners take. They travel from Europe to South America to the tri-border region where they learn to speak Spanish, then travel to Mexico and blend in with other illegals heading to this country. One of the world's most wanted terrorists was actually spotted in Atlanta, and speculation is that he came up through the mountains into this country through the Mexican border. Adnan Shurkajuma is a Saudi Arabian pilot and bomb expert with a $5 million bounty on his head. Federal agents verified he spent time in Atlanta just prior to 9-11 and left on a bus. In 2004, Shirka Juma was one of seven al-Qaeda members the feds were looking for after they were spotted in Central America and believed to be heading for the U.S. The most grave concern from the congressional report, that Mexican drug cartels will help terrorists smuggle weapons across remote border crossings. Because if we learn nothing from 9-11, certainly we should have learned that borders are important. And former Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano is now Secretary of Homeland Security. We wanted to ask her about the border threat, but our request for an interview was never answered. A lot of eyes are on Arizona right now because of the controversial immigration law. But there is another concern there many people know very little about. People from terrorist nations are among the hundreds of thousands of people caught each year crossing the Mexico-U.S. border. Channel 2's Justin Farmer recently traveled there and shared what he learned with a Georgia congressman. Justin. Oh, Monica, we have documents showing people from Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, all in custody for trying to sneak into the U.S. from Mexico. We rode along with Border Patrol agents to get a sense of what it takes to get here. And we surprised Congressman Paul Brown with what we learned. They're running south. They know that somebody's after them. In the Arizona border town of Douglas. And they've apprehended them just now, so we're going to try and catch up with them. It's a 24-7 game. We've got more people jumping. Of cat and mouse. And for 306 is in the area. Border agents use cameras, night vision, and underground sensors <laughs> to track and catch illegals who jump the fence between Mexico and the U.S. We walked around in a circle. We were with border agents as they caught these two men. I caught this guy uh, less than a week ago. We catch the guys, they release them, and a couple of days later, they're back again. That doesn't solve any problem. It just keeps the back door to the United States for all intents and purposes wide open. The Douglas border fence is easy to jump. It's relatively short. There's no razor wire. And just a couple miles outside of town, you can walk right into the United States. This fence is only meant to keep drug smugglers from driving their vehicles across. Agents have 2,000 miles of southern border to patrol and protect. In some cases, you, you can still find the barbed wire fences. 
This is the busiest spot in the nation for Border Patrol. Last year, they apprehended a quarter million people trying to enter the U.S. in the Tucson sector alone. Most are from Mexico or South America. Almost 20% have criminal records, and every year, hundreds of people caught crossing are found to be from terrorist nations. Since January, Border Patrol agents have been on the lookout for 23 Somalis with ties to Al-Qaeda. The Somali terrorists were released from a Mexican prison and believed headed for the U.S. border. But hundreds of people from more than a dozen nations that sponsor terror are being captured every year sneaking into the country. The government no longer releases this list of what they called captured OTMs other than Mexicans. But we obtained the list from a congressional staffer. It reveals that nine years after 9-11, our open borders remain a major threat. Iran 42, Iraq 42. Georgia Congressman Paul Brown is on the Homeland Security Committee, yet he had never seen this list until we showed it to him. It is shocking to see the amount of people from Middle Eastern countries coming in on that report. I tell you, this is something that our committee members really need to see. So I'd like to have a copy of that list to take with me back to Washington so that I can share it. Congressional reports show that Mexican drug cartels tightly control the smuggling of people and drugs. It's feared they're also helping smuggle terrorists and weapons into the U.S. The Arizona border may be 1,500 miles from Atlanta, but what's happening here impacts everyone in America. We have hundreds and hundreds of folks coming from Middle Eastern countries. And frankly, I don't think most of these people are coming here to cut our grass. We must secure the border. Well, go to the Two Investigates page at WSBTV.com to see our complete list of people detained from nations that sponsor terror. And next Monday, we will have much more on the border threat, including the Mexican drug cartels and the route drugs take from the border right here to Metro Atlanta. Monica. Thank you very much.